There's aspects of this that you do capture at least the look of the subject, but I'm not a fan of the hair. The black stripe that you put in the hair for the shading makes it look like the hair's flattened, and then he's got a big poofy back. The right side of the hair doesn't really look like hair. It looks like a shape tucked to the side. The left eye to me looks like he got punched, only that eye has this darkness to it. I don't love this tattoo from you at all. You have six hours to create a new school tattoo, and your time starts now. Poor Fawn. I knew he was going to have a hard time with this one. He doesn't draw, like, at all. I just wanted to make sure he's sitting on the cowboy. Like, it really looks like it, basically. I'm a photorealism guy. I use reference photos for all my tattoos. If you were taking a photo and there was a camera here, mm -hmm. and the cowboy reared up, like That's what that. I was trying to do. There are no reference photos of a horse riding cowboys on the internet. I just want to make sure I finish this tattoo. Yeah. All right, so I finally got it drawn. How you like that? Yeah, that could work. It's definitely going to be more detailed than this, though. For sure. For okay. Sure. Woo! Now it's time to get started. In order to finish this, I got a tattoo faster than I ever have before. Damn, greased lightning. So you're one of those people that responds well to pressure, then. I try not to lose focus, because when I did lose focus, I did bad on a tattoo, so I learned my lesson on that one. I've given up time with my daughter, and today is not going to be the day I give up. Pause on him. It's a possibility. I knew I wasn't going to be getting set up with the easiest ass, but it looked like that little meeting we had might have worked, because Fawn is definitely in trouble with this one. Are you going to put anything, like, any background? I'm finishing what's there first, and then I'm going to kind of, like, reassess. If you don't get to do any background, I would take a, a big, chunky liner and do a green outline just because this value-wise is so close to his skin tone. Cam has somehow found a way to at once use every single color and still have his tattoo look pale as hell. I'm impressed, but also pissed. My dad tattoos, so that's how I got into it. My favorite is black and gray realism. And that's what my dad does. And the older I got, like, it was weird. It was like in my blood, like, that's what I want to do was black oh, yeah. and gray. The fact that my dad tattooed, it worked out really good for me, but it also put me in, like, a box. Like, people just assumed that I either had to be great or I wasn't going to be anything at all. I wanted to make sure I made my family proud because we're, like, tattoo family. Yeah. So it's like that pressure <laughs> tries to get to you sometimes. Jake. Most of the pizza I eat has crust underneath the entire piece of pizza. It's not just a round log with cheese dripping straight downward. The drawing gets a little bit away from the fact that it's pizza. It becomes pretty much a melting skull. It's tough for somebody immediately to just be like, boom, that's what that is. But it looks clean. I knew I could tattoo it. I just didn't know if I could draw it. Cam. The design of the spaceship, it's questionable. It could just be some kind of a socket to a light bulb, and the jacket matches the glass. Nothing pops, nothing stands out. What you're missing here, man, is power. What you're missing here is that thick outline. Push this thing forward so the legibility comes to the light. Fun. Go get him, buddy. Wish me luck. It looks like you put the stencil on the dark. You just put the boot right into the other tattoo. Because he had a small arm. Dude, you're telling me that that boot can't move over a quarter of an inch? I know you're in a hurry, but damn. And then we've got that bottom horse hoof. Nobody knows where that foot's coming from. Nobody knows where that foot's going to. It looks like you were like, oh, shit. What am I going to do? Yeah, and I, just, you had to I was come just through. focused on finishing, honestly. This is a tougher outing for you today. Judges, can I get a final decision? Out of the three, the one that is the hardest for me to read is going to be Jake. For drawing errors and that boot hitting that other tattoo, I vote for Fawn. My vote's for Fawn. The judges have decided, Fawn, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. It is going to be tough seeing black and gray tattoos coming out of here, and you're not doing them. Please pack your machines and close shop. You have seven hours to freehand your tattoo, and your time starts now. 
I am learning so much. They call me like the queen of the bottom because like I've done a lot of styles that I don't at home. I do black and gray realism. Yeah. That's what I do. Ash, shut up. Keep tatting. I know, no words. <laughs> this is why I like. I was like, when you're talking, you ain't tatting, so I know. shut it. I'm always like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need your stories. You need to get your ass finished. <laughs> The top of the shell, I just it got away from me. I would use like your darkest, like red orange that you used. Do texture. Okay. Tighten it up, girl. Come yeah. on. Yep. It's not yeah. that bad. Okay. I feel like the pressure that's on me now is higher. My one tattoo of the day last week, that was rad, and I'm just trying to live up to the standard that I've set for myself. The real trick is knowing when to like stop. I hope they call me first. Ash. I was just kidding when I said I wanted to go first. This really bold, really heavy black style plays well, but compositionally, doing the handcuffs and the skull would have been the best thing for you. You overwhelm yourself with so much flag and so little stars, so much choppiness and unease that you take away from all the nice work that you do in the skull and in the handcuffs. The flags are tough. Alexis. I like the top of the crab shell. It's recognizable as to what it is, but I wish the mallet was inside the cloth to give this a little more composition. The background color, not a fan. The background was supposed to be the steaming part that the canvas wanted. But if you use the color that she used underneath the crab that looks like it's put in well, and put that in the smoky shapes, it works a lot better. Jason. The composition on this one seems a little bit confusing, where the axe disappears behind the top of the helmet and where the axe handle comes down don't seem to line up. Axe handles aren't straight. They do run at a curve. The possibility of that curve is a very highly unlikely one. And the relationship of where the eye sits in the helmet versus how long that cheek comes down and then that mustache starts, it seems stretched. From the mouth to the eye, we got a couple extra people there. One of us is definitely going to the bottom. All right, guys, time to determine who's going home. Anatomy problems on Jason, I think the more you look at it, the more those things stand out. What it comes down to for me is that Ashes looks like a cover-up. The top triangle, because it's so out of sort, just that section looks like you covered something. My vote's for Ash. My vote's for Ash. Okay. The judges have decided, Ash, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. You're resilient, you keep coming back. You never throw your girls under the bus. That quality for you as a human is an amazing quality. Don't ever lose that. Stay strong, stay loyal, and keep learning. Yeah. Ash, please pack your machines and close shop. Thank you. Bye, guys. Ash. You have six hours to tattoo your own line drawing, and your time starts now. I love the, like, the freedom of tattooing. It's like, I actually like doing this. It's like you found your passion, you, you went after it, yeah, that's all. Yeah. Danny went like real earthy with like browns and oranges. I'm gonna go with a completely different extreme, just do something more like bright and bold and colorful and kind of try to outshine Danny. Oh, purple spider. You made him look more like plasticky, like a toy. Yeah, I think you did a good job. That's why I was like, hmm, do I risk doing the same thing right. and potentially <laughs> myself or do I just say <laughs> it and go completely different? done with this black shading. And we start color. I think Jake's version of my tattoo just made it look boring. And I want to show that there is a way to give this just plain old sandwich a character. The black changes everything. Is that right? I'm just putting black in it. You have to use a lot of black in these tattoos. This is what I do. And as a veteran tattooer, my reputation, my career, that's really what's at stake. That green was way too yellow. I wanted something that stand out a little bit more. I always wanted to do this design. It's for color, you know, mm -hmm. like it's supposed to be a little bit darker. And yeah, just making it more saturated than cams. He just did it too light. I designed it so it's like deep. Mm -hmm. I need to redeem myself. I have to tattoo this so well that the judges are not going to even look at the horse again. You did it so baby. But I knew it was going to be time consuming. When things get rough, why give up? Jake. Let's have a look at the tattoo that you drew. It's not a challenging tattoo. That's not a strong enough design for you to stand up here and win. And knowing that you drew it, I would expect you to have a really solid plan on how to make this thing super legible, but the color tones you chose are very alike. It just gets muddy, man. She did something very similar to what I would approached, and so I said, 
and try to do something completely different. Danny, she's definitely more legible. Leaving the web open left a little bit more room to see the spots between each leg. Agree. Moving on. You tattooed Alexis's design. Pretty funny tattoo, pretty peculiar design to choose. Everything in the tattoo is very legible, a lot of open skin. It's very breathable, but there's a lot of gray undertone over pastel colors. Let certain things be really bright and vibrant. You're like muffling it. You're putting a screaming head under a pillow. Let it scream. You know, you can't stand and fight like this the whole time because you're not going to be able to keep ducking the punches. At some point, you're going to have to hit back, and you got to hit too. It was a good sandwich. Shit looked delicious. Alexis. The black you put in this tattoo really pushes the color forward and bright, but man, that bread is black. It does look a little burnt. I think what's doing that for me is the front where you have that darkness. Why would that be black, the inside of the bread? It's just a strong, strong light source. We push for people to put more black, but you put too much. I like the more open skin in Jake's. I like Alexis's color, and I love the fact that you drew a sandwich. Thank you. Let's move on to Jason's line drawing. It gets kind of muddy in the face and in the top of the broccoli itself. If you could have lightened up a little bit in the florets and brought more life to them, I love the fact that you're pushing yourself to do challenging designs. Just a little bit of the application gets away. Your sandwich was so much brighter. Janelle. Both tattoos that I've done with this line drawing came out really slick. Your line work in this tattoo is also very clean. The thing about your tattoo is it's really dark. You got dark in the gold, you got dark in the heart, you got dark in the flower, dark in the leaf. So it does get a little bit harder to read when I feel like this tattoo should be shining bright. Cam edges this one out just based on the play between objects. Everything kind of separates and stands out. Moving on, Janelle, you tattooed Pond's design. Some of the same things are wrong with this tattoo. Dark and dark and dark. And I do see fuzziness around him. This guy's skin wasn't taking it as well. This is not what I want to do and want to present to you guys. We know you can do it on this person's skin. We need to know you can do it no matter what skin walks in the door. Deep breaths. I know, I'm trying. All right, guys, time to determine who is going home. We know for technical application, Janelle's on the bottom. Especially with the horseshoe. And if we look at Alexis's broccoli, man, that's not a smooth application. So are you guys saying that Jake's safe? I'm good with that. Me and you, kid. <sighs> I mean, I like Janelle's heart. It's heavy shaded, but it's clean. Is Janelle's the either of Alexis's tattoos? I do wish that the inside of Jake's sandwich looked like the inside of Alexis's sandwich. The smoothness of the darker tattoo. I'm drawn to that because I love black, so saying less black is hard to come out of my mouth. But the way that Alexis colored the bread, she wasn't thinking about the fact that it's bread. Nunez is always going crazy about light sources. The front of the bread is as dark as night, and then the back of the bread is also dark as night. There's no way. That edge of the bread where you cut open the bread, that should be the open skin. Touche, mi amigo, touche. Alexis, I'm sorry, my vote's for you. Alexis. The judges have decided. Alexis, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. It's a real hard decision today because your creativity deems a space in the competition, and that's what I'm hoping people rise to that stay behind. I really respect what you do, and we're sure we're going to see you again. Sounds good. Please pack your machines and close shop. You have six hours to tattoo a cover-up, and your time starts now. Holly's design is screwed from the beginning. The stick growing out of this woman's ass. It feels like it's like right on my butt crack. It almost is. Girl, I have no idea what you were going for. Four hours remaining. Four hours remaining. Yeah. Did exactly you what you told me not to do. Just the most exquisite listener I have ever met in my life. You are I want to prove to myself that I can do this, that I can do a good tattoo, a solid tattoo. Throughout my career, I've been told that I won't get that far and all that stuff. Yeah. So am I brave enough to step forward and be vulnerable? And I think that is a huge thing for me. Like. Intruder alert. Well, this <laughs> turd boy. <laughs> well, you're supposed to respect your elders. I show respect to those who show me respect, regardless of age. I'm attempting to do a 12 hour half sleeve in six hours. If I don't have the pedal to the metal the entire time, there's not a chance in hell I'm gonna finish this thing. Dude, I'm not here for the bullshit. Not, not today, I'm, I'm over it. Cam. 
There's a lot of great work in this, but the longer hair on the chinny chin chin than the hairdo is a bummer. It needs the power of the mane or it's a lioness. There's just this balance here that gives an unfinished feel to the overall look of the piece. That was like a big thing with like the time constraint. The cover up part, which is in the mouth, it looks like there's more than one tongue or a split tongue. The thing is monstrously too big, out of control. This thing's a mess. You're out to him. You're playing the game. He's so handsome. Holly. You achieve the cover-up fine. It's the rest of the tattoo that falls short. It's a pretty clunky design. The fact that this branch only just goes one way and all sticks tied together, you could have done something different with it just to make it a little more attractive at first glance. I hate this tattoo. There's a tree branch growing out of this woman's ass. Also, there's a back that is creasing. That is swelling. No, what is swelling is the surrounding area within the What is swelling is your head right now eight. thinking you got us when you're gonna go home. Really, you're talking about big heads right now, my I'm sorry, girl, but if I had that tattoo, I would have to cover up another cover up. My canvas loved it, so I'm gonna stick behind it. Do it. Behind you with it too, so. Somebody's got it. Janelle. You have an attractive looking tattoo. You do a great job with the cover up. There's nothing that's gonna show through from that tattoo. But you did a very flat, non-detailed image. Your outlines are pretty shaky in here. The outline on the top of the head, the outline around the bottom of that black hook on the leaf on the bottom, there's challenges left and right on this bad boy. We both could have banged that thing out with that much detail in two hours. I think that you're trying to save some people. I'm not trying to save anybody because I'm not blind right here, man. Cam's got better shading and better application. And Holly's lines are cleaner. Her colors are more solid. Strictly based on technical application, my decision's for Janelle. Wait, I'm the only one that thinks the ape cat is the worst hat? We've checked off the marks of drawings to do stakes, layouts, sizing, cover-ups. We've checked off all those boxes. Everybody here up. 100%. The thing that we are known for doing in this competition is putting ink in skin. Who did that the best and who did it the worst? I would sway my vote to Janelle. The judges have decided, Janelle, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. It comes down to the smallest things, but I feel like those technical things are what it is. I appreciate you guys. I'm taking everything in. Maybe next time. Janelle, you're badass. Please pack your machines and close shop. Good job. You have six hours to tattoo, not one, but two tattoos in totally different styles, and your time starts now. I'm definitely trying to think as smart as I can here, showing the most versatility. He's gonna be so cute. My little goldfish, I'm keeping him as simple as possible. And with my surrealism tattoo, I am kind of giving myself some leeway in saying that like, well, it's surrealism, so it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm kind of, kind of pumped that a dude is getting this one. I didn't want to put the world's toughest tattoo on a girl. I think Cam's gonna have a hard time today. He's doing two different tattoos, but in the same style, and that's the hit and the challenge. There's not a lot of you guys here, so you must have made yeah, it pretty far. No. It's definitely reaching that uh, point where there are good tattoos that are gonna end up going home. So I gotta do great tattoos, you know? Everyone's constantly been giving me shit about only being able to operate within my comfort zone, but this is my chance to finally be like, look, I can do something else and I can do it well. Three more hours, three more hours. Final hour, one hour left. My canvas's skin is getting super red and irritated. Holly's fish is really, really nice. I don't, I don't like the black and gray. It looks bleh. It's getting harder and harder to see any of my shading or any of my blends because he's just so red and irritated. I'm just hoping that it settles. Holly. Let's talk about your first tattoo. It's a really cute drawing. I love the simple color palette. It comes off very strong. The contrast is great. Legibility of the tattoo is super clean. It does the job. Thank you. All right, let's move on to your second tattoo. It's a pretty cool image, and the way it looks is very striking. The highlight over the eyelid, the glare down the center of the nose, all of that looks really great. Your black and gray shading does get a little muddy, a little bit overworked, but you do pick something to show two completely different styles. Cam, let's start with Cam's first tattoo. The work you do in the fire comes out super cool. Black on the tips and then nice, good color blends fading through the fire. Very risky because all these thin little lines, you either hit it or you don't, and you hit it. Really clean, really solid, great sticker. Let's move on to your second tattoo. It's super clean and super simple and super bold. I don't think that it's a really drastic difference in style from the other tattoo, other than the fact it's just black and red. You got probably the two least versatile tattoos on the board today.
Judges, it is time to determine who's going home. It's a lot of good tattoos, man. There's a little bit of black in Cam's versatility. The other person that had short company today would be Holly with her black and gray tattoo just looking rougher. I, I guess I personally took this a little bit different than everyone else. I heard just more like, do something that we wouldn't expect of you. Well, in the rules, I said two tattoos in different styles. No, they're different. The rest of us are all trying to do things that are out of our comfort zone, and for you to stay in your comfort zone is just like. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand that. Well, you did black and gray again. I mean, I mean, it's gray and gray. There's no black in it. I mean, you want to go on which tattoos were done cleaner, but didn't hit the challenge because I won't lie to you, Cam, like they're very similar styles. But then with Holly's, they just weren't as clean. As far as application, Holly's black and gray tattoo, ignore the redness. Just look at the solid black and see the roughness. In this tattoo, you crave the softness of Cam's light shading. Yeah. When it comes down to a body of work, I clearly see that Holly gets edged out. Today, I'm going to go with Holly. My vote's for Holly. Dude, my heart. The judges have decided, Holly, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Everybody did great tattoos. There is no gimme today. I applaud you and I want you to fly like an eagle. Please pack your machines and close shop. Hi, guys. OK, artists, you have six hours to tattoo the back of the neck. And your time starts now. I don't know, man. I think we should just do the eagle. I think it looks so dope standalone. Yeah, it should be fine. The design, I like it. I think it's striking, but I can't spread out the wings far enough. I'm just, I'm, I'm Where are you getting tattooed right now? I want a tattoo there. But my boyfriend would kill me if I shave my head. <laughs> my boyfriend leaves a lot for the military. He is my freaking rock. He is my anchor. So not being home while he's home right now is like, God damn it, like I'm missing out on all this time I could be spending with him. Me being here, I want to make it worthwhile. It'll kill me to just drop the ball now when I'm so close to the next step. Oh, it already looks so cool. I love wings in the back of the neck like that. I think it's neat. Pond's trying to hold me back by giving me a color piece. I really wanted that mandala, but I'm still pretty confident about this one. Cam's doing color tats. What's going on here? Cats and dogs living together. It's crazy. There's only six artists tattooing in this room today. A good tattoo isn't going to cut it. If I drop the ball even the slightest bit, all this hard work I put into this entire competition could be for nothing. This tattoo is turning out to be a pain in my neck. It's getting rude. Definitely regretting putting in all of these parallel lines at the top of this design. There's a little bit of swelling, given how much work we did in. I think it's because my neck was down, and then when I went up, maybe. Yeah. That's yeah. the only thing we can think of. I've been riding high, doing really good these past few weeks. I'm on a bit of a winning streak, and I don't want to that up now. Jason. I love this design but the perspective you chose to show, it creates some questions. You have it leaning forward, but then you have the roses in front of it making an impossible trick. And then the line work in the top of the coffin where it's on the back of the neck is not as nice. Once my canvas stretched his head over, it was just an uphill battle from there. Back of the neck is a hard spot to tattoo. Cam. There's color missing. In this tattoo, you don't have one segment anywhere within the red that is solid. You've got huge holidays, and then anywhere where you do the black to burgundy to red fade, it's just stripy. It's not in enough to make it that smooth transition. But the biggest problem in this tattoo are these swords. The handles of a couple of the swords aren't in line, and then just in the black lines, it is chewed up. Application-wise, this is not up to par with the work that you normally do. Going on. Danny. Your outlines are very crisp, your shading is very smooth, but design-wise, it just looks wonky. The head is very wide, the talons are very small, the size of the body versus the size of the wings, everything about the anatomy of this eagle is just very awkward, it's very stumpy. I think I panicked, and so I made design choices that probably weren't for the best. It looks like it's been nailed to the wall. Very awkward tattoo. I don't like that. I'm so sorry. See at the for me, honestly, the battle for bottom is between Cam and Danny. It's a tough call because do I want the design that's great on paper that's not packed, or do I want the one that's not great on paper that's going to stay forever? You don't want crooked swords that you can't fix either. Or dead birds on the back of your head. If I'm a client and I walk into a shop and I look on the wall and I see these three designs, I'm definitely not picking the eagle. My vote's for Danny. We've sent the heaviest hitters out the door. 
based on trauma. Cam. My vote is for Cam. <laughs> the judges have decided. Cam, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. It's a technical thing, man, and it could happen to anybody. Keep your head high. You're going out on the most flattering tattoo of the three. Please pack your machines and close shop. Good luck, buddy. You have six hours to tattoo a traditional illustrative portrait, and your time begins now. I was afraid that I scared you away. I wasn't trying to be mean. I hope you didn't think no, I was actually really I nice. I definitely went back and I was like, I don't think this is gonna work. Since I got to go more illustrative, now I have to show a little bit more detail. And the face is too small to show all the details and make it look like this person. I got a little nervous. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. Well, we felt the same, but we feel the same now, so that's better. That's it. It has teeth in the tattoo, and I don't know how to approach this without making it look like it has veneers. Ah, oh, shit, Grandma's got a mustache. Oh my god, <laughs> I was like, are you kidding? <laughs> Tough crowd, tough crowd. I am shook as The biggest thing that can go wrong with doing a portrait in any style is that it doesn't look like who it's supposed to look like. So I gotta ask, how did you get the name Creepy Jason? Uh, that's just kind of a joke in the shop. Yeah. Me saying inappropriate things. Right. And then people would say, that's Creepy Jason. And then it sucked <laughs> too, that's Creepy Jason. The more you put in this tattoo is the more that you can be judged on, but I always like to have something in that tattoo that reflects on the relationship between the person and the portrait. They used to do a lot of fishing, so I'm throwing a fishing lure into it just as an extra element. So you got family back in Maryland? I do, man, got a kid. Happens to be one of those like rotten teenagers. How old are you? You don't look old enough to have a teenage kid. Yeah, you know, we think that's like designer gray in my beard, man. I earned that shit, uh, you know. <laughs> I left everything that I love to be here. I left my son, I left my shop. I hope that the sacrifice that I'm making right now is gonna pay off. She's such a cutie. My canvas wants a portrait of her daughter on her shoulder blade. I'm just making sure it's like super, super clean. I've been excited for portrait day since day one. I'm gonna make it look Great, Just, you know, because it's your daughter. The kid portrait is a difficult ask, but I think the full body one was probably more difficult. And I'm really surprised that Pond gave that to himself. I think I'm going home. Why? Like, I'm supposed to be making it look traditional, but I went to black and gray. Like this? Yours is nice. Mine uh, doesn't look traditional though. I feel like you have to go traditional, but not so traditional where it doesn't look at the person anymore. Mm -hmm. Have you looked at the girls? Yours is not traditional at, at all. I don't think mine's traditional enough. We'll make it. How do I do that? There's so many factors that come into play, specifically with child portraits, that you cannot do. You can't put harsh lines on the eyes or anything, or else the child can either look like it's wearing makeup or that they're older than they really are. Dude, everyone's doing different stuff. I don't get it. They want what uh, Jason's doing. How am I supposed to do that with a little kid? That was the whole point. Oh, okay. So that's the curveball you guys were throwing me. Yeah. My mind automatically flocks to realism when I do portraits, so I'm still stuck in that mindset. I think I'm in trouble for the first time. To try to completely change that, I mean, I hate to say it, but I might have just found my weak spot. Here I was all, you know, really pumped for portrait day, and I, I don't know what happened. Jason. There's aspects of this that you do capture at least the look of the subject, but I'm not a fan of the hair. The black stripe that you put in the hair for the shading makes it look like the hair's flattened, and then he's got a big poofy back. The right side of the hair doesn't really look like hair. It looks like a shape tucked to the side. The left eye to me looks like he got punched. Only that eye has this darkness to it. I don't love this tattoo from you at all, but capturing the look, okay. Pawn. As far as capturing the look of the person with a simple drawing, you don't do it. If you look at her right eye, the top of her eye is curved, and the tattoo is a straight line and then curved underneath. Just the little looks of what's going on, you lose it. The shape of the mouth is off, the width of the neck. I was hoping to do a pinup. I had every intention, like she wasn't budging on anything, and then I got in my own head. As dark as you went in the collarbone, as weird as the shoulders come out, I can be like, okay, it's stylized, gritty, it's whatever if you're looking to go that route of illustration, but what I can't not see is the precision in the face. Your eyes don't line up, the nose has a crazy curve to it, the mouth is off center, that's all the places where you need to be precise. Women's team, you're next. Laura. 
It is a nice, well-applied tattoo, but it's hard for me to say that this really looks like this girl. The expression on the face, you're not really getting that little tight grin, and her neck looks really wild. The way you have the back of her shoulder and her neck going all the way up to the ear makes her neck enormous. That sucks. The other thing that I really dislike, these black lines you put on her forehead that aren't connected, that are just random black lines there. I know that you're trying to show the suggestive loose hairs, but it's very strange to play. Ultimately, one thing is for sure, these canvases wanted a rendering that looked like the photo. So that's where I'm coming from. My decision is for Pawn. Pawn. The judges have decided, Pawn, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Hey, man, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to have made it this far. Please pack your machines and close shop. Thank you, guys. Three of you will earn your spot in the finale, and one of you will be going home. You have six hours to tattoo, and your time starts now. This is, looks nothing like this. No, can't. I feel like Danny's wish looks like somebody that gives out candy to children. My wish looks like somebody that would eat a child. This is like a legit ugly. Yeah, like a straight up yeah. eat your baby kind of witch. Yeah, exactly. Coming on this competition and people assuming that I only did one style, and I knew deep down that I could do other things because it came from my roots. The fact that I could turn something around from being at the bottom and get to the end, I feel like that really proves a lot and shows my versatility through this whole competition. I feel like with that, I definitely deserve to be Ink Master. Jake. You had to tattoo Danny's black and gray mystical witch. I like your play on this head-to-head -to, -head to be the enemy of Danny's tattoo. Your ability here to get softer tones in the face and softer tones in the skull, you really show some depth with that. The way you shade the nose and the wrinkles in the eyes, you really get that nose looming out and hanging over. The piece is tough. You've definitely turned it on in the back of this competition. Thank you. Based on your work, three of you will move on to compete in the finale, and one of you will be eliminated. Final decision, last spot in the finale. What's it gonna be? I'll go, it's gonna be for Jason. Man, this is tough. Jason's creativity is always on point. In Jake's tattoo, the shading that he has in the skull of this is incredible. And I'm with Jake. My choice. It's for Jason. Judges have decided. Yeah, but yes. Creepy Jason, you have earned the last spot in the finale. Thank you. That means, Jake, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I'm really happy that you broke out of your shell, and I feel like your tattooing is going to take off. This was probably one of the best experiences of my life, and I feel like I learned a lot. Please pack your machines and close shop. Thank you.